Hello, my name's Jason, and welcome to another episode of me painting again. Oh yeah, we're painting again. And here we have a door handle. <laughs> I took this picture a while ago of a door handle, actually, because um, I thought it looked really cool. <laughs> I like the way the light was hitting the metal and things, and it's a bit grubby, because uh, I used to open it a lot with paint on my hands. You can see paint everywhere. <laughs> So, uh, the handle is lost now, there is no door, dirty door handle, it's gone. So, um, why did I just move it? I don't need to move it yet. So, I'm going to have a go at painting this. <laughs> so, um, the first thing to do is to think about how big it is. And, um, as I look, I'm thinking, I've got this now, look, look at this. <laughs> New ruler. Oh yeah, new ruler. So I could actually measure it. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Let's just move it aside a second. What are we using? We're using watercolours and we're using gouache. Um, if I use the watercolours to get things going and then the gouache to thicken up areas if I need it. Like um, you've seen in another video. Or maybe this is the first video you've ever seen of mine. And then... Hopefully you like it. <laughs> Please press on that thumbs up. Because we need to make sure there's more thumbs up than thumbs downs. Because some people subscribe just to thumb down my videos. <laughs> right, let's get started. Um, here we go. I'm just going to get some of this blue. I think what I'll do... Get some alizarin crimson as well. Some alizarin crimson watercolor and some blue. I'm gonna be able to do a bit of a wash to start with, I think. Start a bit of a wash. I could do with a bit of a wash actually. <laughs> it's been a hot day. So here we go. So I think I'll um Let's think about this. How big is it again? About 14 centimeters ish. So, what I might do is I'll give myself this straight line here just to give me an easy start. Always, always like the easy starts to be honest. As straight as I want that. Uh, there we go, that'll do. How wide is it? Five. So it's quite an easy, I would say, a, a easy painting, I suppose. This one. This this is a one m beginner. If you're a beginner never painted before you could do this one you could definitely make this one a good start of painting and uh, have a go and, uh, and see if you enjoy it <laughs> see if you have fun doing it because that's why we do it that's why I do it anyway. I really enjoy painting. <laughs> it's good fun. You've no problems when you're painting. You don't have to think about things that worry you, like next rent. <laughs> Are you going to have enough money for it? You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to think about the job. If you're working and you've got a rubbishy job that you don't like. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't really say that, to be honest. Because any job is a good job, really. It is really, isn't it? If you've been in a position where you've got no money and you haven't got a job either, you uh, begin to realise <laughs> any job. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's a good job. I'm just washing that away because that's where the handle is. The handle's there. So we'll just do that to wash it away a bit. Right, let's see. So, first things first. What? God, it's really dark here, isn't it? On that side. I might start putting stuff like that in now. Let's get some blue. I'm, go I'm going for the um, blue and brown. Blue and brown. These are the gouache colours of might. <laughs> gouache colours of might. <laughs> I might throw a bit of red in that. I've got this um, <laughs> schmink, schmink gouache that I bought when I was in London. And I've only used a tiny bit. So let's use that. The, per the person that sold it recommended it to me, saying, Oh, this is a really good one. It's uh, a really good paint. And uh, people use it instead of alizarin crimson because it doesn't fade. And it's called Quinacridone. Quinacridone? <laughs> Maybe Quinacridone. Violet. Who knows? Not sure. But there you go. There, that, that, that's it. And it's got four stars of might. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really know that much about paint and the pigments and things. But what I do know is that I like using them. I know some of them have got like a... Uh, just do this line while I talk. Let's get this line done. Yeah, I know some of them fade in the in the light. I think they're called light fastness. <laughs> and uh, and she was explaining that these this one doesn't fade like an alizarin crimson would fade. And I was like, oh, that's interesting because I didn't even know what light fastness was. Which is terrible, really. <laughs> Especially when you've done quite a lot of paintings. You should really know things like that, I suppose. Or at least pretend, you know. <laughs> I didn't even pretend. I, I was just quizzing her. Quite helpful, actually, to be fair. I was probably one of her annoying customers of the day. You know, the, the type that goes into the shop aiming for the alizarin crimson watercolour or gouache, which I was doing. I was desperate for that alizarin crimson gouache. And then I go for it and it's not there. There's none there. So there I was. Oh no. Where is it? There's none here. No, oh, but I don't want this paint. I wanted the one that I wanted. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was like. I was like, no, oh, but I didn't want this one. But it's all we have in stock, sir, I'm afraid. Actually, <laughs> it was a girl, so she didn't talk like that. It was more like, um,. Oh, but the, you can have a look at this chart of all the uh, colours, so you can uh, you can see. So I'm just putting put a little bit of blue in my colour now, just to cool it down a bit. I'm just gonna uh, I'm trying to think of the shape. When when I paint, I always think of that shape, the shape of it. I'm thinking about it, that curve of the metal as it goes in to the base of the door not the base of the door but it goes into the door <laughs> mm. tempted to fill this in you know and then just leave that light bit and then put in some of the colour on top mm. let's put in the uh, shape of the handle first 
I'm gonna get my trusted ruler out. Let's see how far up it is about eight. I'm using the ruler today because we're doing a uh, something we want to look, look look like it's kind of kind of um, real in a way. It's not gonna look realistic. But I want it to look realish. <laughs> Uh, let's measure that bit as well. And a bit. Yeah, it comes quite close to over here. Something like that. So I might just go. Just think, think, think circles, think circles. We can always fix it. This is kind of like our, uh, well it is, it's our underpainting. Uh, I'm gonna get a bit more blue in my paint. Just, uh, just so you can see, got a bit more blue in it. And what I'm gonna do Tiny, tiny, weeny, weeny bit of water. I'm thinking about just getting this started to block this in, really. A bit more blue. Because so I can come back and start putting those yellowy bits on. So, one thing I've noticed with um, watercolours and gouache. There's a lot of people and uh, I have to put myself in that bracket. <laughs> we we, um, we don't tend to do very dark darks and I don't know why that is. So if you're wondering like if uh, oh if my paint, are my paint paintings uh, not looking as good as I want them to what am I missing? What what are these better painters <laughs> that we aspire to be like? What are they doing that we're not doing? Well you probably find one of those things is the uh, they're, they're putting in some real deep dark tones and you know I guess you're probably not Especially if your name's Jason <laughs> and you do a YouTube channel on painting. I suppose it's good that um, I make up most of the mistakes because then I can explain them better. <laughs> Makes it easier, doesn't it? When you know what mistakes you've made, you know how to explain them. So something else I do a lot is I turn things around. Because my um, best stroke is towards me for a straight line, I find. So if I turn it this way, and then I can go blip, 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 blip. It's a bit better than if I did it on a, on like that way, if I was dragging it that way. And it's the same, I find, with circles. If I do it towards me like that, I do a better job than if I wasn't doing that. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. What else have we got? Just getting a bit more bluey, bluey color. Um, so I need to think about those screws as well. I'll put that blue there first. Put that there. It's quite light along here. I'll throw that in there. I'll throw that in there. Like that. That's going to get light. And we've got a screw there. Screw there. 
what I'm also thinking at the same I'm thinking at the same time I don't really want any uh, hard edges because there isn't really that many other than that line there there isn't really that many hard edges that looks okay probably should draw that door handle now get that shape in there which is uh, challenge number two so I'm going to turn it like this um, thinking like a door handle the construction goes something like this it goes sort of like that and then it goes back up again how long is it? it's about there Sort of like this, and then go down like that, something like that. Is that right? It's not bad. It's not bad, it's not exact. I could do with a bit more shape to it. Oops. Oh, I've just put my finger in paint. <laughs> Something I do that, look. You get paint on you and then uh, you, you carry on painting and you don't notice and then boom! It goes all over your picture. So, shot it Surely, probably should mention um, I'm using some greyish card. It's scrapbooking card that I bought ages ago. <laughs> Just looking at that shape, it goes down more. I'll do. <coughs> yeah, it's scrapbook card. It's any cheapo scrapbook card that I got for a quid. And greyish colour. You can use any you like. So I'll just wipe my brush. I think what I'll do now is I'll go to a smaller brush and I'll start thinking about the um, screws. They're quite dark actually, looking at them. So, we need a bit of the brown, bit of the blue. Might throw a bit of the uh, burnt sienna in there. Bit of brown, bit of blue, bit of burnt sienna. Let's put some of these in, um, probably about here. Not too bothered if I don't get them exact. Go for about there. I think that's about right. As long as there is one in each corner, because otherwise this is going to just fall out. <laughs> or oh, whereas the person uses it. We're gonna get wobbly. I fit a few door handles. <laughs> I had a nightmare with some as well. When uh, you find out that the screw has just destroyed the inner part of the door and it makes it a bit challenging to put new screws in <laughs> Moving on. to the other one and about there make sure that these are in the right ish place about there I think Rounded. 
Oh, that, that one. Quite so orange. That, that one's so rusty. I'll show you. This one. So rusty. It's so orange. So, I need some orange. What's a good rust colour? Burnt sienna. If you, if you said burnt sienna, 10 points. <laughs> uh, let's get that. Mix in with our dark, it'll be alright. So we can put some thicker burnt sienna on. I mm, need to make sure they're in. Actually, my screws are a bit smaller and they actually look better smaller, so I might not even. Ookly dookly. Wow, we're at it. I really need to. Uh <laughs> I need to really darken this around here. Yeah, I was going. I was when I took this picture. I was going for a period of everything looks interesting, and I mean everything. <laughs> there's a painting and everything. I was thinking to myself, "There's a, there's a one. There's a one." Everything I look at, I was like, this is a painting. I didn't know about gouache back then, though. So it was a bit more of an ordeal to get the paints out and stuff. A bit more pricier as well. <laughs> I knew about watercolours. I tried them a few times. But for me, they were tough, so I've just thrown a bit of white in to this colour. I'm going to, I might put a bit of blue in there, actually. Just a bit of the dirty brown and then a bit of blue. We're starting to model a little bit now. And I don't mean... Uh, Stripping off and walking down the catwalk. <laughs> I mean, modeling this. That's a weird job, isn't it? Doing that must be strange. Okay. Getting a bit of blue in with my brown just to make this dark. Kind of doing my own thing a little bit with this handle. The smaller brush, I do get a bit more control, a little bit more control. <laughs> I say that and I still mess it up a bit. Yeah, it's a bit bit different but I don't mind. I quite like it actually. Oh, this big old handle like that. That's okay. So that's got some quite good darks in there. I can see like colours. There's a bit of green. I'm gonna get this green. This is where I can have a bit more fun. Pew, bit of white in it. I can have a bit more fun now because once you've got the basic shape in, you know, it's it's the tough part. But now I've got the basic shape in. I can sort of go, oh, I can see a bit of green there. I'll just put it in like that. Can I see any green areas anywhere else? Yes. There. So I'll have that, and I might put another dot here. 
There isn't one, but you know, looks good. So I'll wash that brush. Now I think we probably will put some more of that wash in behind the handle, I think. We could wash the hand <laughs> wash the handle. We could um get things spot on if we wash paint around <laughs> but I don't want to do that I just want to uh, get this painting uh, going but you can what like you could wa wash this paint around and get rid of any issues let's put some this door in Just getting some blue and blue and uh, crimson, blue and crimson. I still like using the alizarin crimson, even if it does fade over time, like that woman says. It's going right up to that. Looks pretty good. This could be like a door handle to some mysterious realm or something. Let's start making a story up. There's a little bit of the uh, brown on my brush, so it's sort of like going into this color. There we go, it's, it's on something, and you can see where a door handle used to be as well. A different, a round door handle. You can see like the shape of the paint, so I might, I quite like that. So I'm just going to put a bit of colour in there. Now there's a, uh, a shadow for the door handle. I need to put that in so it goes under the. It's got a purple, purpley, purpley browny color. Will do nicely. So imagine the handles here. It's got this sort of. A bit to soften it. I'm just going to get a bit of water, a bit of that colour, and just go one wash over it like that, just to soften it. Yeah, quite like that. Quite like that. That's a door. If someone looked at it, they would go, wow. That looks like a door handle. <laughs> so that's a good thing. That is a good thing. We want that, don't we? So I've got some uh, burnt sienna. I really like burnt sienna. Such a nice, real nice colour. Real rusty, orangey colour. I love it. I've got quite a lot in with the white. And I want to. Uh, Get that kind of rusty mark on there. Probably want mm, less white in it and more of the colour. That's a bit better. A bit more orange. Get a little bit more of that on there. 
More rust. Nice rust. Love it. So I can start using this. So when you're uh, painting and you see the same colour here and there, while you're thinking about it, you might as well just put it in. So I see a little bit of reflected sienna there. <laughs> this palette's in the way. Just get a bit more of the burnt sienna. Let's move that somewhere. <laughs> can't get my hand to this area so I can see a bit of a reflection there look on the picture see like a bit there, a bit here, a bit here so there's wire <laughs> just noticed that I <laughs> hope that shadow of the wire wasn't too annoying um, yeah and then you start seeing areas that you could have some areas maybe they don't have any at all but you can put it in I always uh, use my finger to maybe you need to you can use your finger to also to either sharpen an area I'll show you let's put a really long Blob there. So you've got this, and then I can use my thumb to go sh to sharpen it, or I can use it to soften it. See, it's quite good, isn't it? Get some of those blobs there, and then tap it away with my finger, and then have another look. See a bit of more reflective light there. Tap it away. There's a nice bit of uh, orange here as well. Got a really nice glow here actually on the photo. Um, make sure I put that in. And there's a bit of orange there. Yeah, I think that'll do for my oranges. I think I'm going to go for the yellow now, the yellow ochre. So back to this. Just going to wash my brush, not washing it fully. So we need some of this yellow ochre and some white as well. Yellow ochre and get some of this fresh white. Be quicker. <laughs> yeah, so that isn't quite what I want. So I get some burnt sienna, throw that in. No, that's better. A bit more white. There we go. Bit of that red. A bit of red here. Let's throw that in. Uh, warm it up a bit. That's better. All right. Let's see what this looks like. So I need to hit these uh, light areas underneath where the light is hitting here. Now, actually, on the photo, it's overexposed a little bit. So I could choose to overexpose it as well, or I could choose not to. Up to me. So I'm just going to put it in there. It's quite a nice, uh, nice look actually. Quite like that colour. Need to uh, get a bit more of that sienna. Get some more of that burnt sienna. And we'll uh, bring this under here as well. Let's 
Okay, and then uh, over here is gonna go a little bit lighter. Lighter there. Splash that light up. Okay, I like that. Yeah, I quite like that actually. I'll leave that as the uh, probably the lightest of the light. And there's a bit of an issue there. <laughs> Got a bit of a problem there. We can. Oh, we've got the highlight on top. That's alright. Now we'll get some of the yellow ochre. Some okay ochre. Getting some yellow ochre and some white. And I'm going to do the highlight on top of the handle. On top of the handle. I'll do this like this. <laughs> it's on a slight slope, but never mind. So it starts like the. Towards me. Got a bad chance of getting it right if I do it towards me. Wrong there. Wrong there. And then there's a shine on there. So it goes to the about there. Okay. No, I got anywhere. Wipe my brush a bit. It's going into the sea energy stuff. Bit of water, and then what will happen is this. What I put on, it'll fade away a little bit as it dries because it's quite watery so I'll uh, put these areas on which is quite good because then you get like an, a sort of a, a transparent look to things so I'll just create some of these marks okay, got to get around this Gonna get a bit more of the sienna. Just got a bit more of that sienna then. Just looking at areas that need a a bit more to it. More of the yellow ochre, just a uh, golden. Some of the areas <laughs> makes it look a bit more gold when you have the yellow ochre in. this bit here so I want the, I'm thinking I need that to be quite transparent here go sort of along there and then down like that and there's a bit that goes and 
splotch 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 <laughs> So uh, when I first thought about painting this, I took the picture ages ago, like I said, I first thought about painting it, I was like, who's going to want to watch <laughs> a painting of somebody painting a uh, door handle? So the two people that watch this, <laughs> thanks very much for watching. This one is for you. Right, I'm at a point now. I need to start thinking about the uh, this a different reflection. There's a sort of a bluey, a bluey reflection, a bluey grey in, in amongst this. So I need to start putting some of that in. I'm just picking out things now and thinking to myself, does that look okay? So you're getting all these weird, it's a bit of blue actually, a bit more blue. There's all these reflections all over and we can either exaggerate them or not. Our choice. This is where things start changing. <laughs> I'm keeping myself reined in a bit because uh, I can go a bit over the top at times with colour. <laughs> and uh, sometimes just a dash of green like that is all you need. So there's a bit of reflective light as well in this. I need to uh, gonna get some really dark, dark, dark black, black. So I think it's needed here. <laughs> Run there. There you go. That felt good actually. Uh, I feel like if I darken that a bit there and that a bit there, then that would leave the line <laughs> automatically. Darken that a bit there and that a bit there. Yeah, I like magic. Not so much on this one. There we go. Okay, yeah, quite like that. I'll throw a bit of red into my dark. There's quite a bit of red in there now. I need to do the bottom part of the handle again as well. I'm sort of looking in that area. Let's get, it there. get that bottom part of the handle looking a bit better. Bit of separation. Mm, quite like that. Just going to uh, do a bit of dark along here where the uh, metal and the door hits. Just darken that bit there. And some along there as well. Okay. Yep, quite like that. Probably a bit more there, there, let's 
quite dark there actually. I'll do. <laughs> Let's wash my brush. Have a look at the whole picture a little bit. I feel like I can uh, improve things a bit more by getting some pure white and blowing this out here. Yeah. Blur it out. Like in a photo that you're taking and it's an area is hitting just too much light and it goes like that. It just blows out to white. Because what I'm thinking is, when you get that blown out look, like it has now. <laughs> oh, just missed a bit here. I don't know why I missed that bit out. Yeah, the, when I, I remember when I took this picture, and I thought, oh, I can't get it to, to not blow out. It keeps blurring out. <laughs> And uh, no matter what I did, it was like that. But it actually helps. I just feel like there needs to be a bit more of a shape there. I'll just blend that away. Oh yeah, we need to... Uh, We need to get this reflective light that's hitting on the bottom side of this. A little bit there and a little bit there. And a little bit there. There. And then this goes under. It's a bit sharper than that. That's better. Okay. I'm going to get some pure white again. And I'm going to start blurring this out. Oh, Jason, why didn't you use HDR photography? <laughs> Areas are totally blown out. Okay, right, let's have a look. This needs to go. Need, need a. Need. Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> so, a lot of uh, my painting time, I'm fixing stuff. <laughs> Light there. It's here. There. That, that might work. That was just blending together and it was making a weird look to it. Right, what I need is some burnt sienna. Burnt sienna. Lots of burnt sienna. I might use some pure. More pure burnt sienna than white, actually. Yeah, that's about right. So I want to get that a bit stronger there. Um, got that there and there. there was that? I wanted to get some on that a bit. This bit. This bit here. Gonna throw some in here as well. The, the, these aren't exactly burnt sienna there, but it's just what I think. <laughs> oh, and I want to do these these lines that are catching a bit of light. I'm gonna 
put that in first, burnt sienna, and then I'm going to put in the uh, yellowy colour, which was the colour of the light. It's like a yellowy, but there is still some sort of burnt sienna y colour in it. Okay, Boop. put that there as well. Boop. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, this still isn't really bright enough. I'm just going to get a bit of water and just move that a bit. Okay, and now what I want to do, just to uh, blow out that area, <laughs> got some red, and this, I need some more red. There, it just goes, br it goes like a reddish colour because it's, the light's just going blow in there and get like a, it's called a bloom, a red bloom there. Okay, <laughs> well, I think I'll finish here. I could probably keep going and going. Like, I'm tempted to bloom this here as well. Yeah, I, could, I really could. I'm, I could keep going forever and uh, this video will end up being a million hours, so I probably should leave it now. <laughs> as I keep looking and going, hmm, I could do this. Oh, I could do this as well. When do you stop? That's the problem. When do you stop? I suppose you've got to. Oops. <coughs> I don't want to do that. You gotta stop when you feel like it's about done. I think we're about done. I'm gonna. Oh, I could just put. Oh, just do this one little bit and then I'm finished. <laughs> I can just see a little bit that I'd like to just lighten this bit here. A little bit of that, a bit of that there, and then uh, I think we'll call it. Yeah, I've had really, I've had a lot of fun doing this one though. It's different uh, to the norm. I mean, how often do you paint door handles? <laughs> Unless you're literally painting a door handle. <laughs> so I've, I've enjoyed it. Good fun. Good way to practice. Always practicing. Always learning. And always improving. Which is the idea. And always seeing that little line. A little bit extra that you could add. That will make the difference. <laughs> that will make your painting Sing among the stars. Well, maybe not. But there's just these little touches that I want to do, and then I've got to think, wow, you should really finish now. So let's put the brush down and let's call it finished. So. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching this picture. I'm uh, gonna go and have a break now. <laughs> anyway, thanks very much for watching this episode and I'll see you at another one. Cheers, bye.